Well, hey guys, we are here with Brett Larson, who is host of Fox News Headlines and also a technology expert. He reports on technology. This is his world. So Brett, thank you so much for being on. I so appreciate it. Rachel, thanks for having me. Okay, so tell me, this is your world, learning about scams and knowing all about it. So what are the top scams you can think of in America today that you see people falling for constantly? I mean, it, it, it's almost because there's there's so many of them now. It's almost hard to pick. You've got the IRS scam, where the IRS is going to call you at home, which, by the way, they're never going to do. Or it's the email from the Nigerian prince, which I have to say, <laughs> I have been seeing that email for over twenty years. Which, unfortunately, that means it's still working. It's still there. Well, I remember getting it for the first time, and I was like, wait. What? You know, yeah. and then and then you get it constantly. Yep, it's one of those. Yes, for sure. It's a very exciting thing when you get it and it's it's understandable <laughs> that people might think, uh, okay, so I just got to give somebody my bank account information and I'm going to get a lot of money. That's not the way it's going to work ever. Uh, basically, I mean, the rule of thumb I always say, it's the the one we've always heard, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. But the problem is because of with social media, uh these scams have become more personalized to the point where people can hack into, say, a friend's Facebook account and then start reaching out to you as though they are your friend and say yes. things like, hey, I'm stuck in another country. Can you wire me some money? I was robbed. I lost my passport. Uh, they got my room key and I'm, I'm sitting in a coffee shop. Something like that feels very true. It's coming from someone you know. Right. Right never is that going to be accurate. It actually happened to me. I was traveling several years ago. I was in Europe and a coworker reached out to me and said, hey, I'm in Europe. I've just been robbed. I don't have any money. And I said, hey, good news. I'm in Europe too. <laughs> I'm here too. <laughs> yeah. Where are you? Happy to meet you. Happy to help. Give me your location and how I can reach you. Sure enough, that friend suddenly <sighs> blocked me. So clearly that's a scam. That is so crazy. So scammers really even over the past decade, they've gotten very good at what they do. They've, they're personalizing situations just like you're talking about. Absolutely. So when I hear of a scam, you know, the, the, the Nigerian prince, you know, that whole thing, right. you know, now we kind of know it's kind of ridiculous. But are you finding that everyday people, smart, intelligent people are yeah. falling for these? Like who are the types of people you're seeing that are falling for these scams? It, everybody. Everybody is falling for it. And, and I think it's kind of a side effect of the more connected we are. You know, our banking information comes to us now by way of an email. We get mm -hmm. alerts on our phone. These are the exact same ways that these hackers can reach out to us. Uh, just, just in the last week, uh, a colleague of mine got an email from Apple that said, hey, we're having a hard time uh, connecting or your credit card has expired or some, it's always some sort of nonsense sounding yeah. thing where you think, well, if my credit card stopped working, I would have heard something about that or something else would have stopped working. Right. And sure enough, if you follow the link, and this is the thing, when you follow the link, everything you see is going to look exactly like what it should see. And that's what makes it a little bit more tricky. But here, here's my piece of advice on all of this stuff. If you get an email from your bank, if you get an email from Apple or your internet service provider, do not under any, don't click on the link in mm -hmm. the email. Reach out to them the way that you normally would. Log into your email the way that you normally would. Log yeah. into your web service provider or your bank or, or whatever service is saying there's something wrong. Don't click the link in the email. Log in the normal way and check and see if it's actually legitimate or pick up the phone and call the 800 number that's on the back of a statement that you might have because yeah. they're not, the bank is not going to email you and say, Hey, we're suddenly needing to <laughs> get your information here and update your social security number or whatever. I mean, right. it's, it sounds legitimate, but it's not. Yes. Well, I was even on a website today on my phone looking at a recipe and some, you know, ad pops up and it's like, you want a thousand dollars. I mean, just this morning. And I'm like, yeah. oh, you know, it's almost like a virus. It feels like on my phone. I'm trying to get out of it. So <laughs> are, are companies, you know, that or people that are scammers, that this is mm -hmm. what they do, are, yeah. are you finding that they're getting caught? Is it really easy? Or are they slipping under the radar and it's just constantly going to be there? I, unfortunately, I think this is something we're going to be dealing with for a long time. Because of the way the internet works, they can be anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. They can be in any country. They can be in a place 
where our laws can't quite reach them to not only catch them for what they're doing, but stop them from what they're doing. Uh, in many instances, they can they can spoof. They can call you from a phone number that looks like a number that would be to the person who lives right next door to you, and and they can email you from places that are the same websites that we would go to normally. So they've become very sophisticated, which means fighting them, you have to be a little more savvy. And, and it, it is increasingly more difficult to do that. Yeah. Well, it's just good, I think, for all of us to know and to even hear from you, because it's like even just the knowledge, it being yeah. on the forefront of our minds, just to be aware so that we're not the ones scamming and all of our hard-earned money is getting swept away to yeah, a scammer. you don't ever want to do it. And I mean, yeah. also, you know, don't give out, don't give your social security number to someone who calls you at home. Yes. Uh, again, the IRS is not going to call you. The FBI is not going to call you at home. If, if any government agency needs to get in touch with you, they're probably going to send you a certified letter in the mail. Yes. And even, even then, you, you just double check and make sure that everything is legitimate on that. But the, the IRS is not going to call you. There's, and if they do, uh, they're going to have more information about you than oftentimes these IRS agents who call you do. I got yeah. called recently from someone who said they were calling me from Apple because my iCloud account had been suspended. And I said, oh, okay, that's that's great. Uh, tell me, what what's the name on that iCloud account? And it was <laughs> some other person's name. And you know, there's always going to be, if you push back a little bit to get a little more information out of them, yeah. oh, your car warranty has expired. Oh, really? Okay, which car is that for? Don't yep. tell them, oh, is this for my my Acura or is this for my my Chevy? No, no, no. Have Don't them tell them that. The Ask them, which car is that for then? It's good. Normally, That's when good. you start asking questions, they're going to back down really fast. That's so good. Yeah. Well, I would not want to be a scammer and call you because <laughs> you know exactly what <laughs> to know, say. I know because I think it's actually a lot of fun because I want to see how long I can keep them it's on like the It's like a game. Before they, totally. Before they crack. So great. Well, thank you so much, <laughs> Brett. So appreciate all this information and for being on. This is great. Great stuff to know. So thank you. Thanks for having me. 